reverb and a chain of reverb pedal so sometimes I like to do some experiment and uh, do things in a way you are not supposed to do like mixing a lot of reverb all in serial so I love reverb and delay those are my two favorite effects so today I decided let's put all the pedals that I have uh, plus some other things that I'll talk about later and uh, let's just use a simple sequence and uh, I decided to get the Juno, the boutique Juno and see what I can get uh, chaining everything uh, of this pedal so right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven seven delay uh, let me talk first about the setup but first let me talk about how you can support this channel and me you can subscribe you can buy using the affiliate link down below and you can become a patreon of mine in my patreon uh, i'll publish some video about this setup with some more ideas some sample and maybe we will go through uh, the recording of the part to make out of our experimentation something useful hopefully okay now let's go to the setup so i have uh, uh, to let you understand better what's happening here, I decided rather than using the synth directly in the uh, effects chain to send first the Juno into the Model 1. So I have the Juno on this channel here and let's hear how it sounds. That's it. From here I put the Juno on my uh, QSend B here, so it goes from here inside the chain and the chain come back in a separate channel here, so you can hear the tail so we can audition the chain by itself and the clean sound, plus I have my two staple here I have the Eventide Space so Eventide Space has its own channel here and it goes with a separate sand let's hear it here we are this is the Eventide and then I have the Space Echo that use a, a separate sand and it has its own channel too. I'm using the Space Echo only in reverb because I didn't want to cheat. What you hear on the space, this sort of delay, it's uh, given by the uh, pre-delay that is synced to tempo. So you turn on the tempo here, then you tap tempo and you have this rhythmic, more rhythmic effect. My idea was like to try to squeeze as much as you can from each pedal to get its own character and had to create a sort of, uh, I would call it a cinematic kind of pad, something you can use in a score. Of course, what I would do is then record the different part, like the clean uh, and the uh, affected part, and then use it for something else uh, or uh, EQ it, modify it. I want to do that in the computer, but I thought it would be amazing to use on the chain the auto-bound. The auto-bound not only will give me some way to 
control the uh, EQing with the filter and the gain, but also it has a side chain. So I was thinking, how can I duck the uh, um, effects to make the uh, sound of the synth coming out? And that you do it with the auto. But we will do, we will see that at the end. It's just like a bonus, and we are talking about reverb here. So let's see what happened in the chain and why I set up as I did set up. So we have here the uh, simple Juno. It's a simple, simple uh, arpeggio and this is how it, the signal flows. So it goes out from here. I'm using a TSR to TS cable. So basically it goes in the in. This is the only reverb uh, that I have here that it's uh, mono. So I decided to put it at the beginning of the chain. So first dark world, then we go inside the impress. Uh, the impress, I'm, uh, we will listen uh, one by one, so we hear what they do. They do. Then from the impress, let me be sure, sure because uh, uh, the, from the impress still in mono, we go into rooms. In rooms the signal becomes stereo. I love uh, room um, stereo field, so I love this guy to open up my stereo uh, signal. From here we go into the Strymon, Blue Sky, and then Blue Sky goes in the last step, that is a CXM 1978. Uh, rather than use uh, a regular s sounding delay for each one, I try to find what is the character that I like most of each pedal, and even of these two, of course, the Aventide and the Space Echo, the Roland, to get at a certain a certain sound that makes every single uh, you know detail that I want. Now it's not that I use this thing all the time, it's just a fun way to uh, experiment with all of your pedal and do something that usually when I started I always been said never mix two reverb together in the same chain but actually I do that quite a lot, I do that a lot in the um, Ableton, like where I have different sends and I just uh, send my signal all over, but put them in series, in serial, like this, it's not something that you do all the time. You get some interesting sound though, and you can create a lot of interesting pads and tail handle sound that you can then reuse, and, and that's how I like to experiment with this setup. So, let's hear, one by one, all of this beautiful pedal and then I'll explain why and what I did. In the Patreon I will do some other patch live with you, so we will just experiment. Uh, for this uh, uh, video I decided to just go with something that sounds nice. So, let's start with the Juno. Actually. This would be the send that goes on B, the QB, into here. So let's start with the dark word. The dark word, if you see my reverb shootout, I talk already a, uh, about all of these guys, but now let's go in how I really like to use them. So this is the sound that it's made by dark word. So, what I want to do is I want to add little by little things and not just go crazy like this because otherwise by the time I'm at the last pedal my signal will be completely washed out in reverb. So I start little by little and here I'm having the spring reverb with a tiny bit of delay, uh, the pre-delay and then I have the shimmer. I am not a super fan of shimmer when it's clean like that, so I, I know that by the end of the chain this sound will be very smeared and it will work for what I want. Uh, 
it's basically you can decide to run them in parallel or serial right now these two effects are in serial so it's the world inside dark so this goes inside here right yes yeah this is the world channel this is a dark channel okay this is the first this is the first pedal now the Impress. The Impress is a magic pedal. It, I love what it does. It does so many things. Uh, and by the way, I'm excited because today I got the new uh, Euroburo Zoya and I can't wait to learn that one. I love Impress. Thank you for sending me that. Uh, it has a lot, lot of cool um, algorithm, but I decided to go to the one uh, using the one that I cannot find the other. So, I'm using the reverse. Let's hear it. So this will create uh, some sort of bouncing of the sound in reverse that sounds a little like a delay, but it's a reverb and maybe you will say it's cheating because it's not properly a reverb reverb, but here we want to just find uh, all the, the, the interesting thing and put them together. So this is the Impress. Let's add the dark chord. And this is just the wet sound. Uh, we can keep... We can add now the clean sound if we want to hear it more, but let's just stay with this. Now it's the time to use one of my favorite reverb ever, and it's the rooms. Let's turn it on. I simply love this pedal. It's it's whatever you pass through it. It's amazing. So what's happening here? I'm using the algorithm three called peak. Basically, it's a reverb with a filter, and you can filter and uh, select the band that you want to use. One thing that I, uh, it's important here, it's the gain staging of the situation here. So basically this um, initial signal that goes here is pretty low because I have the chance to pump the gain both here and here. And I know that the rooms has these things that if you feed it with too much uh, with a strong signal, it will distort. So I like to go inside it very smoothly. And sorry for the mere choice of words. But anyway, here it's where we are now. So already we have a sort of interesting reverberation, a sort of, uh, you know, we are in another world, right? And we can add back the original sound. I needed some bass frequency and I decided I'm gonna use the blue sky shimmer with a lot of low pumped and in uh, I think it's hole, no it's a room and as you can hear this cover the low frequency see with these would be very not low prominent but like this it's nice let's put together again and now we start having a pad that accompany my sound nice we are ready for the last step the beautiful the beautiful CXM 1978. So instead of using that as a clean reverb, I decided since this is an interesting uh, kind of retro-ish uh, sound, let's add the algorithm that uh, Chase Bliss did for this 
effect. Let's turn it on. It would be amazing by itself, right? So we are using the hole with a medium diffusion, the low tank mod and the lo-fi. In this setting here it has this kind of crunchiness beat reduction that I really like. Okay, now let's put everything together. This time from starting from the last one. Let's, let's put some of the clean sound. Nice. What, what now? So let's hear what the Space Echo and the Aventide add. Space Echo, here we are. I wanted just a tiny bit of uh, reverb from the spring and it has this of course very characteristic high pitched sound that's it and i eq it so i cut the low end and i cut the high end a lot and then the eventide space in my trusty corridor uh, corridor uh, what's the name uh, algorithm here we are. And now let's bring back the chain. Beautiful, right? So, this is nice, but I wanted to make the arpeggio to come more forward. So the only way to do that would be to use a sidechain compression. So first, let's hear when I'm adding the auto bound to the sound. Engaging. Let's hear only... Now we are hearing only the chain. I like that you can filter it, you cannot drive. And it sounds already better to me, but the fun part starts when you engage the compressor with the side chain. So the phone out, headphone out from here goes inside the auto. And now if you pull the compressor, it will start pumping. It's cool, right? And now let's bring the other sounds in. you will hear how much the sidechain work here all the volume comes up so that's about it for the chain uh, the few ideas that I want this video suggest to you it's like when you create sidechain uh, sorry chain like this uh, maybe it's hard to you know perform and, and complete a sound, uh, do a sound because there's so many things going on, it's hard maybe to understand what you have to uh, deal with. So what I do usually is like I set up all of my um, pedals and then I start playing and... What I like, really like to do is keep the uh, 
my Ableton going on and recording and then for example I like to capture the tail hand of the reverb like this sound now because this sound would be amazing as a pad so you can just experiment and then from here like you have a palette of sound in your hand Now you have like uh, an easel where you can create different sound uh, and sample them and have then your bank of weird long pad, long tail that I recommend you to use. It's very nice to have a full uh, sample bank of that. You can still hear things going on, right? Again, the, the goal of this video is just like experiment with your pedal, it's very fun to put them in chain and one other amazing thing would be to have a patch system like the Bored Brain the patchulator where you can change the position in the chain of these effects and things will change dramatically. So uh, I love to have effect pedal rather than plug-in, I love plug-in too, but this is my way to be more hands-on and, and I always end up with stuff that are more fun and easier for me to get to a point that I really, really enjoy. Uh, again, on my Patreon, I will go a little more deeper with what we have here and have some fun. I will always try, also try with the drums and see what's gonna happen with the LXR02. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, remember to subscribe to my page and, well, thank you. Have a great, great, great weekend.